The Archbishop of Canterbury has been on a two-week visit to Australia, visiting various communities and ordaining three Aboriginal women into the church in far north Queensland. It follows the Global Anglican Future Conference, creating an extra-provisional diocese in Australia called the Diocese of the Southern Cross, as opposed to the Australian Anglican Church. Over fears, the established church has strayed from Jesus' teachings. Well, I'm honoured to have Archbishop Foley Beach in the studio with me today, the Archbishop and Primate of the Anglican Church in North America. Your Grace, thank you very much for joining us. Can you p please run us through what is this extra province that's been set up in Australia and what's the purpose of it? First of all, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Great to be here in the UK. Wonderful. Uh, this extra provincial province, or I should say diocese, mm -hmm. is, was formed by the Gl Global Anglican Future Conference in response to uh, a number of bishops in Australia who've departed from the, the basic Christian teaching on marriage. Yeah. And a number of folks uh, no longer uh, in good conscience can remain under their bishops and appealed to help. And so uh, we have provided a, a bishop, the former Archbishop of Sydney, uh, Glenn Davies, to be uh, the bishop of this new diocese. And we're seeing this happen all over the world, aren't we? We're seeing similar situations in Canada, in North America. And is it that GAFCON are providing, say, a lifeboat to people that want to remain Anglican but feel the church has left them behind? That's a great way to say it, a lifeboat. Um, in many places, uh, we're gonna either going to lose folks to the Anglican faith or we're going to provide an alternative. And so what we've tried to do is pastorally help people in situations where uh, they have no, nowhere to go. And so we're trying to offer them a good Anglican leadership that, provides uh, uh, biblical teaching and, and remains to the historic faith of the church. How big is the communion? The Anglican communion, it depends on which numbers you use, but I like to go with the conservative ones, which would be about 80 million. And the GAFCON, or Global Anglican Future Conference, represents about 60 million of those Anglican, uh, 80 million Anglicans around the world. Right, so it's a majority of Orthodox Anglicans Absolutely. in communion with each other. That's fantastic to hear. Uh, what are the options over here in the UK? Well, of course, we're trying to do all we can to support the, the Church of England and its work here um, and those who are faithful. Uh, but there are some places where uh, people by, by their conscience can no longer remain in the established church. And so we've provided what's called the Anglican Mission in England and the Anglican Network in Europe, uh, where folks can uh, participate, be involved. Uh, many of those folks are planting new churches, uh, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to, to folks who have not heard them. Uh, well, let's talk a little bit about why that's important, because we saw this week that the Archbishop of Canterbury has uh, named the new Dean of Canterbury Cathedral, who is a man in an active uh, homosexual relationship, uh, homosexual marriage, I believe, which of course goes against Christian teaching, goes against Orthodox doctrine, uh, therefore pointing the direction of the church in the wrong direction. That's correct. Um, and what it's done is, is thrown a bomb, I don't know how else to say it, um, to the global south and those who, basically the majority of Anglicans who don't hold to that, mm. the mother church, the mother cathedral of the Anglican communion has now, uh, has, has a dean in, in this situation. And in essence, he's closed the door uh, to those folks around the world who uh, have said this is the mother cathedral. It's, he doesn't realize, that, to use an American term, it's like slapping them in the face. Yeah. But is this not a wider issue? Because the new uh, person who's the Archbishop's Secretary for Appointments, Stephen Knott, is also in an active, open homosexual relationship. So the person who's selecting bishops for the Church of England is going against Christian doctrine and Christian teachings. Is that not the start of the slippery slope? Um, it's very much so. And um, of course, Archb the Archbishop of Canterbury has said that he holds to traditional teaching, but he's surrounded himself with people that don't. So it's creating a lot of confusion around the Anglican Communion. Do you have hope for the Anglican Communion? I do. Um, this, to see what's happening around the world, the, the excitement, the passion, even though so many of the, the provinces are going through such difficulty with whether it's the after effects of COVID or famine or war or persecution, yet their faith is so vibrant, they have no hesitation in sharing about Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and the importance of having Him in your life to transform your life and to give you assurance of eternal life. Here, here. And what does it mean, Father, to be Anglican? To be Anglican means that you are rooted in the historic teachings of the Reformation as the English church received them. Absolutely. That's probably a simple way to say it. Now, I usually end the show on the collect for the week, but I understand you wanted to say a prayer today. I think it's only fitting, Your Grace, if you uh, read the prayer today. 
Very good. I also have a prayer book I'd like to give you. This is the 2019 Book of Common Prayer uh, published by the Anglican Church in North America. Thank Let you. us pray. Gracious Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Fill it with all truth and all truth with all peace. Where it is corrupt, purify it. Where it is in error, direct it. Where in anything it is amiss, reform it. Where it is right, strengthen it. Where it is in want, provide for it. Where it is divided, reunite it. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Your Grace.